Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Fishing with Big D. Back out here to the old stomping grounds, Saltville Ponds, and we're going to be doing some ultralight pan fishing. We're going to be throwing gulp minnows on our ultralight rod. This is a Soge Lang fishing rod. I did a review on this a couple videos back. I've got my Shimano Sienna. This is a really amazing sensitive setup. That's what we're going to be using today, guys. We have a 184th ounce trout magnet gold. We've got a split shot, about 10 inches up. And we've got a rattle bobber. We'll use that float and kind of adjust the heights here and there as we figure out where the fish are laying. Hopefully, we get a bite today because we've got a late start camera didn't cooperate but let's get threaded up and get started now usually now that the sun's up and high I wish I could have got here a little bit earlier but let's start tucking away near the shade over here on the banks so we're gonna try to get as close as we can and work that brush line Ooh, that was a good hit. see what we had. I think it was a bass chasing Remember guys, your first few casts is just going to be all about searching. So I know I've got a pretty good depth picked out with the lure. I think I'm about 10 inches below my bobber. Look at that, he about pulled the Ants keep eating me up. He about pulled that minter clean off. I'm gonna fix my presentation. Let's go right back out there. Now there's multiple ways you can retrieve this lure. You don't have to use a float. I just like to use a float. Keeps me up and off the bottom. But you can also do a steady, constant, slow reel occasionally that'll do the trick Let's see if we can get him to bite again Oop, there he goes again 
He might have got the bait that time. tedious game. So I'll grab that tail and take off running and it takes them a little bit of time to get that minnow fully in their mouths. Oh, I think we got, yeah, we got him that time. Or got one. What do we got here, bass? Oh, crappy. Yep. Another little crappy. <laughs> that was a little bit better size. Here. I got them little paper mouths, but not bad. Let's let him go. It's <laughs> what we're targeting, guys. It's a lot of fun. Got a nibbler. He don't seem quite too big. I've got another cast or two out of this minnow. And then we're probably going to have to change it up. Let's get a good cast. There we go, it's pretty good. Hey, there we go. Oh. What we got? That baby crappy. <laughs> That's still fun to catch. Let him go. All right, now he has finally tore that one. It's like our third catch on this one. Let's go rebate. How are y'all? Did that camera work? Yeah. I got a little tiny one. Got a baby. Yeah. <laughs> little crappies. Yeah, you got a little baby. <laughs> I saw on TV. The news last night. Uh-huh. You got the issue? Man, man caught a... What's the word? Catfish. Bill catfish. I think it weighed 130 pounds. Golly, I'd have a heart attack if I caught something like, like that. Hey, now I'm not, I'm not exaggerating. It's yeah. that, that, that long. He said, uh, yeah, he's a fish. This is one cat, catfish tail I can prove. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's why I record too. That way, if I got proof. My buddy says I'm lying to him. I got proof. <laughs> uh, so now, the biggest ones is always the ones that get away, and I ain't got no camera. <laughs> oh, that's, that's, how it goes. Yeah. that's how it is. <laughs> That's, that's, that's the joke. Yeah. I know. <laughs> Y'all have a good one. I, uh, I've, I've been around fishing and they try to fish, 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 f
<laughs> well, yeah, they still this smaller size ones, but still fun. You can come out here and catch a dozen of these. I guess it still hasn't got quite cool enough yet for the big ones to play. A little crappy. Guys, uh, <clears throat> the bait's pretty durable. As you can tell, we've caught a few, not nothing of big size, but usually I can catch three or four decent sized ones even on a little gold minnow before it begins to tear or they rip it off that hook. That was a good cast. We got, oh, there it goes. Yep, we got him. It didn't take much. We got real close to the bank there. Man, the crappie are on fire today. Mainly just the small ones, though. Pretty little fish. But where are the big ones? So if the little ones are laying up on the banks in the shade a little bit, you would think the bigger ones would be too. So I'm going to take a few casts out here further out in the deep. We might have to lower our bobbers some more. Just gonna experiment a little bit. something here. I'm, oh, I broke loose right at the bank there. <laughs> Let's go back out to the deep. that we've noticed is there are a ton of small crappy laying up along the weed line. Now we've had a few decent strikes, hard strikes from fish big enough to pull that float under. <clears throat> a little further from the banks in the deep so we're just going to do a few fan casts further out in the deeper holes. We might actually raise that bobber up some <clears throat> and drop down a little bit further towards the bottom. Readjust my knot. And when I adjust that knot, what I mean is I'm just making sure it's resting so that I get that straight out presentation with that minnow so it looks more natural. <clears throat> now, once again, right now, we're just kind of testing the theory that there might be bigger ones out deeper water instead of close to the banks here. So far, we've caught two a little bit further out. They were big enough to pull that float under. Surprisingly, I haven't had any bluegill. A little bit shocking to me because usually there's some dinner size plate bluegill that run in here. Now, of course, it has been a while since I've fished here. And things obviously have a way of changing over time, but usually bluegill is a pretty big staple for any kind of pond. few 
more fan casts. Then we're going to change the height of our bobber. Once again, this is all about search. We're searching, seeing if we can find what is working. And so far, you know, we've got down pad on the little ones. They're up near the banks. They're pretty aggressive right now. Hopefully that sun will die off a little bit. Now we're not doing too good straight out here in the middle. Oh, big old bass look like. Or was that a carp? Oh, there we go. Oh, man. Alright, so we're about 10 to 15 feet out. As you can see, whatever that was, I mean, it pulled it straight under. It's not toying with it like these smaller ones. These fish are coming up. They're grabbing that minnow and taking it right back down with them. In this case, he probably only had the tail. Hadn't made his way to the hook, and when we tried to set the hook, pulled it right out of his mouth. Now we still got our minner. We're going to check it. Make sure everything's lined up. Adjust that knot one more time. Everything looks good. I'm just going to go right back out to where I got hit. Just a little bit further out. So I can work my way back over to that spot. I'm going to kind of come in at a different angle. Let's see if we can get that one to take again. goes right, there we go oh this one feels a little bit better he's fighting he's got that bobber under hey we might be on to something guys oh look at that one a lot nicer crappy look at that that's what we're here for today guys them nicer size ones now that's better that's what we're looking for let's go over here and get a picture all right guys so this is the better size crappie we're kind of out here looking for beautiful crappie i believe this is a black crappie as you can see it's as big as my palm i got a pretty good size hand as well look at that mouth that's why they call him paper jaw and he destroyed that minnow and that's that's what we're out here doing we're having fun this is probably like the sixth one I've caught, and they are on fire today. Mm -hmm. Let's let him go. All right. Now that we think we know the pattern, I'm going to continue to fan my way out here and search for bites, adjust my lure and stuff. We might drop that bobber just a little bit up and see if that gets any more attention a little bit further down. All right, let's keep working our way down. Oh, uh, there's a turtle out there. Hopefully he does not go after that lure. There we go. Oh, oh, we got him. Oh, that one feels a lot better. Look at that rod. He's got that bobber. Oh, no. I was running my mouth. Let the tension ease up. And he popped right off. That one felt good. Oh, man. That's what I get. Running my tater. Now we made a long fan cast out. We're going to kind of fan our way back out trying to get away from these smaller fish another good thing that's working for us today guys is if 
you can see that breeze and the way the water's rippling to the bank. That likes to, <clears throat> excuse me, that tends to drive the tiny minnow and fry closer to the banks here. And in turn, your bigger predator fish follow them up. Missed the hook set. <laughs> Threw out in the deep there. And... Ah, I think we got us a crappy. Yeah, nice crappy. Look at that. That is what we are looking for. Nice one. A little bit bigger than my hand. Say he's about 10 inches. Big old mouth. Beautiful crappy. Guys, I think it's safe to say that we definitely dialed them in today. We've got the bigger ones out in the deeper sections, four to five feet. We have our float about 14 to 16 inches above our hook. We have our gulp minnow. And that breeze has definitely helped out a lot. The video up too much for you guys so you can't hear. It has been a beautiful day's fishing, that is for sure. Itty bitty crappy, looks like. Yep, there. Next to the wood, it would appear. Little pieces of brush. Let's get back out there. I think there was a bigger one that took that first bite. A little bit closer to where I wanted to be. Let's see if we can call this one. Alright, we're about close to where he was at. And, yep. There he is. Oh, look at that hook. Look at that rod bend. And keep that tension on so we don't lose him goofing off. He's got some head shakes, as you can see. It's a good fighter. It's either a big bluegill or a crappie. Oh, what we got? Oh, we got a crappie. A nice one. Today has just been an amazing day. Some nice sized crappy, some monster bluegill, big old fat Virginia style bluegill. Look at that crappy, it's a pretty specimen. Look at that, as wide as my hand, big old mouth. Let's let him go. Shade, some breeze. We are to do good on this cast. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Let's walk him over here away from this bush. Oh, we got a crappy. Yep. Oh, yeah, nice one. Not as quite as big as the other ones, but still a good size. Oh, 
There we go. Popped it loose. Not bad. That is just about the size of my palm, about eight to ten inches. Pretty little crappy. <laughs> Thank you for the fun. Let's find Mama Bear. We called it right. The shade came in, the breeze, subtle. Looked good, felt good. Walking it through, we saw the strike. He felt like he needed more, he come back. Once again, we got that nice breeze coming through. Got some good cloud coverage, a little bit of rippling on the water. Good conditions, prime conditions. We should see a fish with this cast, I would think. There we go, we got a hit. Oh, what did I tell you, boys and girls? Caught this one right when the camera died. Another nice, crappy, a little bit bigger than my palm. Hook right in the lip to get mouth out. There we go. Oh, looks like a crappy. <laughs> oh man, this is just so much fun. Another nice crappy. One of the larger ones. Yes. Look at that one. Fatty. These little boogers are just so much fun. Just a little comparison for you. That one's a little bit closer to the 12 inch mark. Beautiful crappy. Look at that mouth. That's what we're here for guys. That's so much fun. Let's let him go.